Welcome back to the show. I'm Gretchen Plesha. I am so honored, so thrilled to have the amazing and brilliant director, Fernando Viena, from an um, <laughs> incredible, I'm a little emotional, I'm not going to lie, the incredible story of Jake Burton called Dear Writer. How are you doing, Fernando? Uh, I'm doing great, Gretchen. Thank you for having me. Of course. I am truly honored. I know I'm already getting a little emotional. Anyone that has already watched this fantastic film knows that Dear Writer is the life of Jake Burton. But I, you know, I have to be honest with you. I originally went into it thinking, oh, this is just going to be an amazing historical piece about snowboarding and how Jake had this thought of, um, you know, riding on the snow, surfing on the snow is exactly how he described it and how snowboarding came to be. But it was so much more than that. I just I thank you. And it's such a great homage to his life. It's pretty brilliant. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, as far as the uh, history of snowboarding, it is a history of snowboarding, but told through Jake's eyes. Yes. And, and how he lived his life. And um, but it's also a celebration of his life. That's what I love so deeply about this is Jake, as you know, something that Fernando and I both have in common is I was blessed, uh, blessed enough to cross paths with Jake and be so lucky to get to know the man, the myth, the legend that is Jake Burton. <laughs> he is one of a kind, as you know, Fernando, and I just feel honored that I got to meet him through the Burton US Open. He was one of the first human beings that believed in me to do interviews. He allowed me to do interviews of all the amazing writers at the Burton US Open. And I love that it shows the quirky, crazy side of him that we all love and know. <laughs> and it also shows the very driven side of him as well. So it's a beautiful, it's definitely a story about human kindness, finding your truth, living your truth, and also just being happy and struggles and truth of life through cancer, through other things that he went through, the coma, et cetera, which I have to tell you, I never even knew that side of it. So you did an amazing job. And I know a little bit about you. I have a little bit of a backstory. I would love to hear how you got to meet Mr. Jake Burton. <laughs> I, I, I met Jake once uh, when I um, interviewed to, uh, to direct a film and, you know, was, I got maybe 20 minutes with him, but I had put together a proof of concept that was about like seven, eight minutes long. And, you know, thank God I got to show that to him because it was such an emotional moment. Mm. I think I think for him to experience another uh, uh, a filmmaker interpreting his life, interpreting um, his 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 battle with uh, Miller Fisher uh, in a very kind of short, compressed time, uh, it was great to see him be moved by it and it just left such a profound impression on me and I you know I left there not really thinking I was going to get the job <laughs> but so grateful for the experience so grateful to like have the opportunity to show him the proof of concept and to um yeah just be able to feel his energy you know and and he's just such a lovely man and what I remember the most about about that that experience is like he tried to make me feel comfortable. You know, a lot of times when you go to an interview, they're like feeling you out, right? <laughs> uh, but he was like the opposite. He was like, you okay? Can I get you anything? Are you comfortable? <laughs> you know, are you relaxed? You, you know, just sit here, sit next to me, that sort of thing. Um, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was different. It was different. And one thing I love, and I know that you've seen firsthand, is the family, the community. The snowboarding community is such family, and you feel that deeply, and they take you in. And even this morning, someone that is in the movie that is one of Jake Burton's dearest friends that I know misses him very dearly, that you like to call Coxie, Mike Cox, <laughs> I was messaging with this morning, and it is such a family, and it all started, and it is because of Jake Burton. And that's it's so profound, and it's felt so deeply throughout your film. And I think that's a side of him. You know, so many people at the Burning US Open that met him loved this larger than life human. But we got to see the funny, dorky, cool mm. like side of him. And I know you got to see that firsthand. Just from one meeting, you said you were forever mm -hmm. changed. So that's pretty awesome as for, well. For sure. And the, the uh, family aspect of snowboarding uh, was something that um, I didn't know about because I'm not a snowboarder. But I loved, you know, I loved the community. I loved how it was always a community from the very beginning. Um, and how, uh, you know, this, this, this Jake's um, 
trauma that he suffered when he was young, you know, that he lost, he lost family members at a very young age. And um, this feeling of isolation, this feeling of being lonely, uh, of independence, mm. um, it's, it's something that I think drove him to form a community, mm -hmm. and through snowboarding. And I think I think that is imprinted in the sport to a certain to a certain degree. You, you know, as far as far as um, uh, you know, Jake passed before we started making the film. But me and everyone else in the project was committed that the, that he tell the story as much as possible. Yeah, right. To be the narrator of his film, and we tried we tried very very hard to pull that off. Right, to have him narrate a story, have him take us take us through the ups and downs the, 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 of his career, of his personal life, of his health struggles. And, yeah. and you know, I think, I think by and large we pulled that off, but that was something that uh, was part of the game plan. And, um, you know, have so, Jake speak for Jake. Something that really touched me during the um, film, the story that you did, it was so beautiful. The moments where he was indeed um, not able to communicate and coming out of the coma and that he was writing to his friends, his family, and he was still keeping his wit about him. We can't really say the words that he used. Anyone that knows Jake and watches the film will know this exactly what I'm talking about, but he mm -hmm. just never lost his love and his lust for life. And that is truly what I think when you watch this film, you see a man that just had an idea, surfing on snow, that was his passion, his truth, and he taught all of us to live that truth and to truly go out there, live your passion and live it with joy and not to take life so seriously. But now when you think about that, this man created snowboarding, truly out of thin air, and that he did this and lived with such joy and truly lived, it's a pretty amazing, I don't know, I don't know anyone else like that. I've never met one right. other human being like him. And I think that's truly what you drive home during this whole film, which is so beautiful. Yeah, have, have as much fun as possible. Yes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, there's some beautiful moments in, in the film. Um, one of his sons talks about this uh, incident where he gave a little bird mouth to mouth, mm. right? Yeah. <laughs> Try to resuscitate this little bird that had just been attacked by, by a cat. And, um, <laughs> and, and, he goes, I, I, you know, that's when I realized my dad has such an appreciation for life. Mm -hmm. right? And um, and also like that, you know, uh, he said um, he learned more about his dad through the cards that his dad was writing when when he couldn't see, when he couldn't move. All he could do was move his hand. And he learned more about his father through those cards than he had his whole life. So I think I think if you distill it to one word. I would distill it to two words, it's passion and fun, mm. right? It's follow your passion and have as much fun as possible because yeah, you know, we're not, we're not gonna be here forever. And, and he, uh, that legacy that, that, uh, that he taught us, you know, that, that, that way of, li of, of living, I think it's one that I, I subscribe to now, so. Yes. Having as much fun as possible is very, to me, is a very profound way of looking at life. I love that. I love it so much. And I love the film because it does give such a good background about snowboarding. And I know touching base on this a little bit too, you know, Burton is a huge entity. It's huge. It's all around the world. And you learn more about that in the film. So definitely stay tuned. And the highs and lows of that, like we have talked about it is a beautiful thing. He brought snowboarding to so many human beings that would never, I mean, he created the whole concept. Also, many people thought he sold out. So you show the highs and the lows because, you know, this man is seen as a god, the god of snowboarding. But he did go through people kind of giving him some gruff about it, you know, and I love that you showed that. It's not an easy journey for anyone that wants to make a name, but he dealt with it with beauty and grace and kind of just kept on going. You, you know, the family, um, I have to give them all the credit because they said, as long as what you put in the film is accurate, we're not going to tell you to take anything out, right? Mm. As, long, as, long as, as long as, you know, um, it's factual, right? And those things happened, you, you, you know, the, the, you know, I don't want to give anything away so people can watch it in the film. But yeah, they're, 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 he had missteps. He made some missteps. Um, but he was hu he was human, right. and I think 
And I think for people to really connect to a character in a film, I mean, like really, tr truly connect with them and have a character stay with them, they have to feel like the character is real. Right. And and nobody's all good and nobody's all bad. Um, so so to uh, paint a false portrait of somebody like they're all good or they're all bad, I think it would be it would have been a disservice. Um, and you know. <laughs> But Jake always owned up to everything, and he learned. He was just such a quick learner, right? Yeah, you, you know, he, he thought he thought snowboarding was going to be downhill. The future of snowboarding, the sport was going to be downhill uh, races, you know. And he was right. he was late. He was late to freestyle, but but he, he made up for it. He, he was really good at he was really good at changing at changing course and um, and adjusting. So, and that's really you know how. Yeah. how we get this done right um and, uh, being flexible i would like to say the last thing that i truly love about this is you hear jake's voice throughout the whole film and it makes you feel connected i don't want to get emotional it did make me emotional so very emotional both times i watched it and it's so beautiful you feel like he's just sitting next to you narrating his life and it's amazing and so i just want everyone to know we love Jake. We miss Jake so much. And this is a way to keep him alive. Fernando, where can people go and watch this Dear Writer, the Jake Burton story? On HBO Max. HBO Max. And um, uh, yeah, still streaming. Um, and, you know, it's, I, I just wanted to reiterate that it is a celebration of his life. And it is a very joyful kind of mm. um, message uh, throughout. Um, yes. Yeah, there's is there's tragedy at the at, at the heart of it, but um, but the legacy that he left he left behind is you know is 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 a joyful one, and I think uh, we uh, you know we tried really hard to um, instill that in the film. Absolutely, I think the message I took away from it was to live your life to the fullest. We're not yeah. guaranteed a long time, but we're here for some time. And Jake definitely did that, just did that. He lived his life and truly lived it to the fullest. Thank you so much, Fernando, for being with us. I can't wait to watch it again. Please head over to HBO Max, watch Dear Writer, The Jake Burton Story. Thank you so much again, Fernando, and keep it right here for more to come.